What could be more thrilling than holding the secrets of your future, love life, and personality in the palm of your hand? You've heard of this mystical practice before as it's been around for centuries. Palmistry, alternatively referred to as palm reading or chirology, encompasses the art of fortune-telling by analyzing the features of the palm. This practice exhibits diverse cultural adaptations across the globe, and individuals who engage in palmistry are commonly known as palmists, hand readers, or orchorologists. Palmistry is an ancient science of knowing a person's past, present, and future. Since the palm is the gift of nature, no errors can be ascribed to the lines on the palm, which have been there since birth. Palmistry has an important role in the study of human life. By the study of hands, the faults of human beings can be detected, and the remedy for correction of the faults can be suggested. Palmistry is a practice originating in the Far East. Palmistry has been used in the cultures of India, Tibet, China, Persia, and some European countries. Studies show that most ancient communities like the Hindus, Sumerians, Tibetans, Hebrews, Babylonians, and Persians were greatly interested in the study and practice of palmistry. It's believed that palmistry originated in India with its roots in Hindu astrology, known in Sanskrit as Jyotish. Several thousand years ago, the Hindu sage Valmiki is thought to have written a book comprising 567 stanzas, the title of which translates in English as The Teachings of Valmiki Maharshi on Male Palmistry. Chiromancy is predicting a person's personality or future by reading the palm of that person's hand. The relative sizes, characteristics, and intersections of various lines and mounts or bumps are said to imply interpretations. A reader typically begins by reading the person's dominant hand, the one with which they write or use the most. The scholars of palmistry claim that a person's destiny can be read very clearly from palm lines. The shape of the hand, mounts of planets, and lines on the palm can help the palm reader to analyze all aspects of life minutely. Palmistry in that way can be a mirror of an individual's life story. Palmistry revolves around studying central lines, secondary lines, lines of influence, mounts, and the shape of the palm, thumb, and fingers. In palmistry, importance is given to different symbols and girdles on a hand. Though opinions vary, many modern readers believe analyzing both the left and right hands is essential. The non-dominant hand reveals natural personality and character, while the dominant hand shows how these traits have been actualized in practice. Together, they reveal how a person is utilizing their potential in this lifetime. The significance includes the future is shown in the right, the past in the left. The left is what the gods give you and the right is what you do with it. The right brain controls the left hand, pattern recognition, relationship comprehension. The left brain, logic, reason, and language controls the right hand, as opposites do. It reflects the outer person, objective, social environment impact, education, and experience. Earth hands, fire hands, air hands, water hands. The love line is also called the heart line, it starts at the edge of the palm under the little finger, crosses the palm, and ideally ends under the junction of the index and middle fingers. If the line is long and ends below the index finger, it means that the person's affection is spiritual rather than physical. If the line is short and ends under the middle finger, then it's vice versa. The feeling will be delicate and gentle if the lines are thin and deep. The emotion will be wild if the line is flat and thick. If the line under the middle finger is bent downwards, this indicates willful, unreasonable, and violent love. If the line is long, cracked, and curved downwards at the end, this indicates lasting love and a willingness to sacrifice everything for less. If the beginning of the line from the edge of the palm has feathery folds, the person is very passionate. If the feathery folds are above the line, the person is quick-witted, resourceful, and flexible. If the love line takes the form of an iron chain, it pretends mood swings, depression, and irritability. A circular wrinkle on the love line under your little finger could indicate an eye or vision problem. If there are circular folds on other parts of the love line, this indicates problems maintaining a relationship. 
Broken lines or gaps indicate extreme trauma or a complicated relationship. The lifeline begins at the top of the palm between the thumb and index finger and extends to the bottom of the palm. The length of the lifeline is not necessarily a sign of longevity. It represents the physical and spiritual life force. A long, deep red lifeline indicates strong vitality, an excellent immune system, and resistance to disease. If it's short and superficial, the person is likely to be weak or have more health problems. If the line is thick, the person is better at heavy lifting or sports. If the line is thin, the person is better at jobs that require more brain power and less physical effort. A larger palm area from the base of the thumb to the lifeline indicates a more energetic and romantic life, while a smaller one indicates fatigue. If an iron chain-like fold forms at the beginning of the lifeline, at the edge of the palm between the thumb and index finger, this indicates a common childhood disease. Similarly, if there are breaks or small kinks at the end of the line, this also indicates health problems in the elderly. If a small circular wrinkle forms in the middle of the line, this indicates severe illness or hospitalization. The bigger the wrinkle, the worse the condition and the longer it lasts. The wisdom line, also known as the headline, is the most critical line in Chinese palmistry. It represents the person himself, starting near at the same height as the lifeline and extending across the palm to the little finger. Ideally, it ends below the junction of the pinky and finger. A short wisdom line means a lack of intelligence, but if it's too long, this person tends to deceive others and cause problems for himself. A thin, deep line means you're smart, focused, and clear-headed. Circular wrinkles along the line could mean poor concentration, poor memory, or possibly injury. If the line starts with an iron chain-like fold, it indicates the formation has been affected by a bad environment. When these two lines begin at the same point and quickly diverge or don't overlap, they're decisive, assertive, adventurous, and capable of handling unpredictable situations. The marriage line is the small horizontal line at the edge of the palm between the base of the little finger and the love line. Some people have multiple lines. If you have one or two prominent lines, the number of lines does not matter, as you can ignore all flat lines. Six or more flat lines, none of which stand out, indicate a complicated and chaotic marital situation. If two equally pronounced lines exist, the person is prone to love triangles. The longer the marriage, the more challenging the choice when choosing a spouse, the higher the demands placed on a spouse, and the greater the pressure to marry. If the line ends under the ring finger and touches the sun line, it indicates that you have good in-laws who will bring you wealth and fame. However, if it's longer and crosses the sun line, it will adversely affect wealth and fame. If the line has split ends, it indicates split up or invoice. If the line has round bars, it means separation during the relationship. If the line curves upwards at the end, it indicates a lack of motivation to marry. The popularity line is a short diagonal line below the line of love. It starts at the edge of the palm and goes slightly up towards the middle of the palm. It shows popularity and good communication skills. The career line is also called the fate line. It's a vertical line in the middle of the palm that runs from the bottom of the palm to the bottom of the middle finger. If the line ends when it reaches the wisdom line, it means that the person stops working according to his decision. Suppose it ends at the border of love. In that case, it indicates that a relationship problem will lead to the end of a career, several alternating unstable jobs, or constant changes in the work environment. Two career lines emerged in the form of a pair, indicating that the individual has good chances for a second employment or a different career. The hard-working lines are wrinkles that go up from the lifeline. It denotes that hard work will be rewarded. If the crease extends from the beginning of the lifeline to the base of the index finger, it's known as the desire line, and it suggests that the more you desire, the more luck you will receive. The sun line is a vertical line parallel to the career line that runs beneath the ring finger. The appearance of two sun lines as a pair suggests that the person is well-known and well-liked. 
If there are multiple lines, it implies that there are too many interests without a clear emphasis. If the sun line has round or cross wrinkles, it symbolizes a loss of money or renown. All creases, vertical or horizontal, on the bottom portion of the thumb are referred to as the money line. The more creases there are, the more riches there will be. The health line is slanted from the base of the pinky finger to the end of the lifeline. The line should be renamed bad health line. It's best not to have it at all. A segmented line implies digestive system issues. An iron chain-shaped line implies respiratory system issues. Circular wrinkles at the beginning of the line suggest difficulties with the head, nose, or neck, while creases at the end of the line indicate problems with the urological system. The accident line is a vertical line that runs from the base of the middle finger to the lifeline and is thicker at the start and thinner at the finish. It denotes someone who is prone to accidents or suicide. The villain line is a slanted wrinkle at the bottom of the index finger that signifies the individual may become a victim of the villain's evil activities. If a person has more than four villain lines, he or she is prone to defamation. Alternatively, if there are seven lines or more, the person is likely to be involved in contentious legal proceedings. The creativity line is a pair of small vertical and slightly slanted lines located beneath the pinky and ring fingers. It signifies talent for creativity and originality and can be very successful in literature, art, and invention. The mystery cross is a cross-shaped crease in the palm center between the love and wisdom lines. It denotes a strong interest in philosophy, metaphysics, and religion. The Rebellion Line is a short line that runs parallel to and below the Love Line. It denotes a tenacious and unyielding personality. In the case of an unethical and wicked person, it indicates a threat to the community. A long body with long arms, full of ideas, typically with strong opinions. A long body with short arms denotes poverty, low status, or humility. A short body with short arms demonstrates a lack of relaxation. A short body with extended arms represents success, wealth, and celebrity. A long body with long arms and short legs represents a prominent person in a high position. A small body with short arms and lengthy legs represents wealth that is lost due to harm or punishment. Round and plump fingers are cherished and have more joy than worry. Flat and level fingers imply that you must work hard or worry more. Thin and sensitive fingers represent a person with an intelligent mind. Bald fingertips and uniformly shaped fingers will be constantly challenged or subjected to hardships. Round and smooth finger knuckles have small fortune even during hardships. Rough and revealing finger knuckles, moneyless due to a lack of diligence and ambition. Thumbs push forward, impatient and unyielding. Backward tilted thumbs, patient. Thumbs indicate family ancestry and heritage. If you are injured or go missing, it'll harm your family, fortune, or fame. The index finger symbolizes self-authority and independence. If it's taller, you'll have greater control and authority over yourself. If it's shorter, you'll be less independent. Your index finger also mirrors your entire body. You're healthier and more calm if your index finger is slender and delicate. The middle finger reflects your thoughts. A stressed or depressed middle finger is indicated by a slanted or crooked middle finger. Your ring finger represents your desires. It implies excessive vanity or being overly opportunistic if it's lengthy. Your pinky finger represents your offspring. A crooked or tilted pinky suggests a lower chance of becoming a parent. Strong fingernails, daring and courageous. Soft fingernails, insufficient physical strength and energy. Flat fingernails, low or no self-expectation. Soft and flat fingernails, less successful and less accomplished. Clear and shiny fingernails, better health. 
dry and clouded fingernails, unclear prospects. Reddish fingernails, excellent blood circulation. Pale and dry fingernails, blood clots, or poor circulation. The base of the fingernail has a half moon shape, inadequate blood circulation, or cardiac issues. Have hard creases on a fingernail, rough or terrible future.